Hey guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for all you guys born in the year of the dragon. It is Reptile Wednesday, or Karma Wednesday. The two karmic signs today, the snake and the dragon. The dragon being first and being the positive of the yin and yang. And then the snake, more this afternoon, this evening time. And that's the negative of that yin and yang both karmic cards and if you want to know about the karmic signs then hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing a reading on that in the future but for now let's see what is in store for the dragons this week how is the year of the dragon going for the dragon people as well by the way are we having a good year or is it a bit to be desired let me know Right, let's stop there. We'll go one from the bottom, one from the middle, one from the top. What have we got? We've got a white, a white and a black. Okay, so that's not so bad. I mean, as I've always tried to remind people, white isn't always good. Black isn't always bad. It is just the way it is. Um, but it's a great start for the dragon people because we've got that rat jumping straight on in there. And that is part of your affinity triangle. The compatibility between the rat and the dragon is very, very good. But it does seem like that you've got a lot of things to do. Too much to do almost. Too much to do almost. But you are capable of it. You are capable of getting this stuff done. I think you just need to appreciate your own strength a little bit more. I think you need to appreciate what you are actually capable of and that visionary thinking that you have. You're a very, uh, very strong character, very powerful, very resourceful. That rat's coming in there to remind you of this. This could, this could also have, uh, you know, a, a long list of um, potential jobs that you need to get done or things that you may need to actually address. Though, not essential or vital to rush or to run into anything too quickly. You're actually going at a nice speed. In fact, you're going at a speed that is, I would say, relatively slower than you're used to or comfortable with the thing with dragons is is that when they get overwhelmed when they become i don't know sort of overladen with uh responsibilities or over encumbered with uh jobs or the pressure gets turned up they work better like for some reason they are a sign that they actually work more efficiently the hotter the temperature or the harder things are or the worse things get. The worse things get or the hotter the kitchen gets, the more the more they are sort of or the more you are on it, you know, and that makes you more comfortable. You thrive under pressure when things are going at a steady speed or a slower speed. That's when things start to become frustrating and agitated. And I think you need to remind yourself that even when you are feeling down or feeling agitated or frustrated because things aren't as challenging or they're moving quite slowly, you still need to remain with that positive attitude and have that positive um, outlook on things. If you start to see things negatively, that's when these challenges, these challenges aren't going to be fun for you. And they should be fun for you because you're a dragon. And even though you won't admit it, and to everybody else, you're going to look like you're pissed off, annoyed, burning the village down frustrated and just angry about everything you're not you're switching into that power mode where you're picking up the excess weight you're picking up the slack you're you know working under the pressure and getting things done that need to get done it's time to do what you need to do dragons you need to do what you need to do it's time to basically well take that step the rooster, the soul card of the dragon. Yeah, definitely time to take a couple of steps. Definitely time to start moving forward. Definitely time to, I want to say this, but ugh, I don't really like saying it. Seize the day. That's kind of the attitude that you've got to have. That uh, dragon and the rooster there, they are on the same soulmate connection line. Again, if you want to know more about that, then hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing that in the future, um, in a future video. But that rooster is coming in with that kind of... Um, expertise and competence the the kind of the kind of uh, attitude that would give a dragon person a uplift or um, give you more enthusiasm and I think that's the thing it's hard for you to be enthusiastic at the moment even though there are things to be enthusiastic about because it just seems too easy or maybe not too easy it's just 
it's not quite hard enough for you to switch into power mode, take over and and get shit done, basically. You're sitting there kind of watching everybody else struggling around. You're not going to offer help. Of course you're not. You're not going to offer help. If they asked for help, of course you would help. But you're not going to offer it. So you're going to sit there and you're going to watch everybody kind of struggling with this and doing that and getting that done. And as soon as they start dropping stuff, as soon as they start getting a bit incapable and the pressure then starts to turn up, that's when power mode dragon switches on and you'll just turn into that workaholic or or job mode where nothing else matters apart from getting that job done and getting it done and you're very good at doing that you're very good at getting stuff done if you need to and that rooster like the rat quite compatible with you and you can I, I i would like to say that you can do this but it might be quite hard for some of you but you can always say not today i need a break and be a little bit more reserved on yourself there is a lot of stuff that you've got to get done there is a lot of stuff that you need to get get sort of finished or approved or passed or whatever there's a lot of stuff you need to get ticked off your list but you're also going through all this kind of i'd like to say stage of in between you don't need to get involved because everybody has got this uh, or you know this something is okay at the moment and in between that okay, the pressure's turned up, nobody else can do this, it's only me that's able to now come in and rescue the day or save the day or be the hero, I'm coming in, get out the way. And of course, when you barge through like that and say, get out the way, I will sort this out, that's when people are going to start being a little bit uh, critical of you, they're going to be a bit judgy. But when they see what you are actually capable of, that's when you're going to get that kind of, um, I suppose, not congratulations or or sort of um, celebrations, but you are going to be recognised and respected for the fact that you know, or, you know, that you've got it done. It's, it's quite, um, it's quite a good couple of cards for you. There isn't, again, there isn't much I can say apart from this is like a time to kind of seize the day, get that, get get that sort of uh, mindset on where you're ready to jump in, get ready to move in and pick up what is being dropped or pick up that slack. I don't think you're going to do that until the pressure gets moved up because you feel like there's just too much going on. There's just too much. You feel overwhelmed, but you're not. Because if you were overwhelmed, you wouldn't be able you wouldn't be able to just sit there and do nothing. If you were overwhelmed, you would come rushing in and save the day, save yourself, save the damsel in distress, save the whatever it is. You would swoop in. Full on dragon and and save the day you're not overwhelmed you'd work well or better if you were in some weird roundabout way you're in an in-between state which for a dragon is actually arguably worse but it's not a bad place to be because we've spoken previously about how you've had to have have patience and how you've had to take a step backwards and you've had to allow this to happen this is something that you've had to allow to happen where people have to carry their own weight basically they've got to carry their own weight and struggle on with it it's good enough for you you've had to do it you've had to struggle through and you've come out or out of this okay and been triumphant so now it's their turn to carry that weight however don't start blaming people if they find out or realize that they don't actually need your help the pressure may not actually be turned up to the point where you actually feel the need to get involved which means you are going to stay in that constant place of, oh, well, I'm just overwhelmed with it all, when you're really not. We got that tiger card coming in, so we got some emotional baggage as well. That's that's something that is uh, haunting the dragons at the moment. There is that sort of emotional uh, sort of baggage that's kind of holding you back. Maybe it's not that you're overwhelmed by the situation or the job at hand or the people around you or the work you're doing or whatever it is. Maybe that's not what's overwhelming you so much. Maybe it's just that you just don't know how to feel about it or you don't know. Like thinking for a dragon is relatively easily easy they, they that comes to them pretty easily the thinking side of things the mental side of things they're very intelligent they're very kind of switched on they've got very clear minds they can focus very well mentally a dragon is very very equipped emotionally 
not so much. They do struggle a little bit or you will struggle a little bit in some relationships that are, let's say, not as compatible as others because you are hard to understand. You are hard to to go up against or to compromise with. You can be very overbearing and it's simply because you think a lot, but not like the thinker, like the rooster, snake or ox who are in that thinker triangle. You don't think like them in a that's your character, that's your personality, you're just a thinker, you're just, you're a quick thinker, so you, you, you use your mind in a very different way to get stuff done, which is very different to the other signs. I think, really, emotionally, that's the snake side of things, that's where the karmic balance comes in. See, snakes are very emotionally intelligent, incredibly so, whereas... Dragons are not so much. And I think there may be some emotional blockages there that are kind of like holding you back and making you feel a little bit less confident than you probably would. Maybe agitated to a point where everything's just annoying you at the moment. Everything's just annoying you at the moment. You know you've got stuff to done. You know you've got stuff to do and get done. You know that there's stuff on your mind and there's stuff that you've got to think about and things that you are, I don't know, overthinking like I say pretending to yourself or telling yourself that you are overwhelmed when you're actually not overwhelmed because if you were overwhelmed then you would be able to handle that a little bit better than pretty much anybody else really it's not that at all what's actually stopping you moving forward is the lack of confidence and the lack of confidence comes from emotional blockages because you are in a place of limbo as I've said somewhere between being overwhelmed where you can turn your power on and where you're purposely keeping the power off because you don't feel it necessary or the right time to step in yet. I don't think this is a time of giving up. This isn't a time of, I don't know, um, backing down. You don't need to take a back seat here. That tiger and the dragon, they go together quite well. They are quite compatible. In fact, all three of those cards are relatively compatible for a dragon person. The rat, the rooster and the tiger, even though the tiger is in the black. And I think that is because that is the blockage. You would be doing a lot more uh, productive sort of um, advancements or making your way up that sort of ladder if... If it weren't for the emotional blockages that have kept you in this status quo or in this sort of this place, whether or not you can get out of it, I suppose that all depends on where the, you know, where the kind of, um, I suppose, where the future lies almost or no, not even that, where the choices of your own actions what happens then? The consequences of what you choose to do, basically, that's when things are going to change. It's not going to be you that changes anything. It's not going to be you that makes any sort of advancements here or turns the heat up and increases the pressure. You're just on standby. You are literally on standby. You have to, again, just wait. And if the kitchen's too hot, get out. If you can't stand that heat, just get out the kitchen. Just back off because that's what you're trying to do. That's what you want to do. But let's be fair, if the heat was too much, then you'd be doing absolutely fine. I think this is kind of like a, I'm going to mope around because I've got nothing else to kind of occupy myself. So I'm just going to be a little bit, oh, well, I'm all down and depressed and all, or what am I going to do with my life? Or, you know, I'm not doing the things I want to be doing when really there's loads of stuff for you to be doing. And you know, there is because it's on your mind and there's things that are going on around you that really you feel you could go in and pick up those pieces. You could go in and help. You could go in and do something. But for some known reason, you're not. And I think maybe it's a lack of confidence through emotional blockages because of something that's going on elsewhere within your uh, within your life at the moment. But we'll find out next week when we come back and do another reading for those dragon people. We'll be back later on this afternoon with a reading for the snake people, the, the karmic opposite of that dragon. As I say, I will be doing videos on the karma cards or the karmic signs in the future. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Love and peace.